Being an electrician, like any other occupation, is a process of trial and error, and learning from your mistakes is a huge part of it. In this video, we'll discuss some common electrical mistakes electricians tend to make, and how you can avoid them as an electrician yourself. So without further ado, let's get right into it. What are some common electrical mistakes electricians make? Even when the risks of electrical work have been made clear time and time again, mistakes are still made and accidents still take place. Some of these accidents even proved to be fatal, and one research for the United States of America concluded that electrical accidents caused 160 deaths in 2019 alone. These lives were all lost due to mistakes that were made while electrical work was being performed, which is truly unfortunate. So here we've gathered some common mistakes that electricians, especially unprofessional ones, tend to make. Accidentally touching live wires. This is hands down one of the most commonly occurring electrical mistakes of all time. Sometimes electricians fail to keep in mind that the wire they're about to touch is carrying a high voltage or that it's not covered in an insulatory material. This increases the risk of electrocution that can be extremely dangerous. At the same time, you also run the risk of power outages or your appliances getting damaged. Touching live wires is definitely hazardous and you can definitely need to be careful about it. You should make sure that you're properly protected against electrocution by wearing safety kits and that too, if your job necessity necessitates being in close contact with wires, otherwise just avoid working near them altogether, and this will reduce your risk of making this mistake as an electrician, not knowing the proper way of installing light fixtures. It's no secret that electricity is a very powerful thing that, if not regulated, can cause serious harm. Many electricians who've just begun practicing may think that they're protected against injuries caused at the workplace because they have a skill for their job, but unfortunately, that's just not true. It's possible for you to make mistakes as an electrician, and one of them that you need to look out for is installing light fixtures the wrong way. What we mean by the wrong way here is being unable to place the wires correctly, not knowing the right positions for the wires and other parts, and overall being unable to do the job the right way. What you need to do is read any manuals beforehand. These will give you step-by-step -step directions about how exactly to install light fixtures. But of course, experience matters too, and if you're looking for someone to install those lights without burning the house down, you may go for a more professional electrician rather than someone who has just started out. Alternatively, you can make sure that the person who's doing the job knows what they're doing, even if they're inexperienced and they've gone through the instructions beforehand. Improper wiring. Another majorly disastrous mistake that can occur in electrical settings settings is getting the wiring wrong. This is electricity we're talking about, so every component in every circuit has to make sense and be arranged in a proper way. For your appliances to work smoothly, these wires need to be in their destined place. However, sometimes electricians get confused with the tons of wires they may be dealing with and end up connecting the wrong ones. This involves the risk of electrocution and even explosions, but one way to avoid this is going through any instructions that may be given on the appliances. Another thing you can do is to be super calm when dealing with wires. Not do jobs like these when your mind is not in the right place. That'll allow you to carefully arrange all the wires and not risk any accidents. Making use of the wrong tools. There are tons of electrical tools that any electrician needs use of from day to day. But that doesn't mean that every electrician knows how to operate every single tool. And some can make mistakes and make use of the wrong ones while doing electrical work. For example, using the wrong kind of plier for your wires and ending up cutting up the whole thing. These mistakes do not only add to the cost of electrical work, but can also lead to electrocution, mishaps, and other injuries. This is why electricians need to be aware of the kind of tools they're handling, as well as their individual purposes. Most professional electricians have undergone training, which includes knowledge about the different tools that they shall encounter at work, regardless of being manual or electrical. However, inexperienced or unprofessional electricians are more prone to make making mistakes of this kind, and they may put their own safety at risk by not handling electrical tools the right way, as well as yours. That's why you should carefully choose the person who's about to perform electrical work for you, not keeping a check of exposed live wires. It's common for things to go out of sight in an occupation such as being an electrician. This is because the work is tedious and repetitive, and electricians can get lost easily. This manifests itself in the form of accidents that take place because electricians sometimes forget to check for exposed live wires. When going through a breaker box, it's easy to fall trapped to an exposed live wire. However, as an electrician,
electrician, you should be very careful that the wires you're about to come in contact with are not exposed ones. Because if they are, you know by now what happens. You don't want a serious injury and the risk of death each time you do your job, which is why being careful is key. Secondly, wear protective equipment at all times. This is made out of materials that do not conduct electricity when they come in contact with it. Once you're sure that none of the wires that you're about to handle are exposed, only then proceed to do your work using wrong sized wires. It's not only the arrangement of wires that hold a lot of importance in electrical work, but also the type of wire that needs to be used. The word gauge refers to the different sizes that wires come in and for different purposes, different gauges are needed. If you use the wrong size wire for an appliance or any other electrical work, this may interfere with that appliance's functionality. Moreover, using the wrong wire could fuse the whole circuit and may result in overheating. You, as an electrician, need to be crystal clear as to which wires needed. If you don't, you'll have a failure and a dissatisfied client staring at you. You can do this by reading any instructions that you may find on manuals and choosing the exact type of wire that's required. Replacing fuses improperly. Fuses are the wonderful things that protect the ampacity ratings of your wires and align with the current that flows through them. These fascinating things protect you from some dreadful fires. Often inexperienced electricians think that each time a fuse blows, it can simply be replaced with another or with a bigger one. But what if we told you that this is behind a lot of the explosions that happen due to fuse issues? What you need to look out for is a fuse or breaker that is continually blowing, even after you've replaced it multiple times. This is because this identifies a problem with the circuit wiring, and it requires the supervision of a professional and qualified electrician to be solved. Once the core issue has been looked at and solved by a professional electrician, you'll find that your fuses will not blow as quickly and your breakers will stop tripping as frequently. That was it for today's video. Which one of these mistakes have you made as an electrician? Do you have any electrical work advice? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time. If you're already an electrician running your own business or just about to start and grow your own electrical business, you must learn the four critical things electrical business owners wish they had learned before starting an electrical business so you don't make the same mistakes. Electrician Accelerator has put together a free training video you can watch for free right now that'll show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your electrical business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work, free up your time all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you'll also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals. Stop competing on price with other electricians and escape your competition. How to convert out at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales, how to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that'll be happy to pay more. Click on the link on the description below the video.